what is up so in today's video I am going to be doing as you guys can read from the title it is going to be a chit chat get ready with me first impressions review on some things well it's not gonna be a review because honestly everything that I buy you know I loved everything that I bought that's a review that's the review I loved everything that I used in this video <laughs> apart from this I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this but Okay, as you guys will see in this video, I recently went to Sephora, I bought some more things, and I went to my local drugstore, which is Walmart for me. <laughs> so I went to Walmart and I bought some drugstore makeup, and that is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. That is everything that I used in this makeup look. I am going to be showing you how I got this look. It's very smoky. I know I've been doing a, sm a lot of smoky looks, but... That's just me, and that's how that's how I'm feeling recently. Feeling smoky. Okay, that was weird. That was very weird. I'm so sorry. Cringe, cringe, cringe. <laughs> but either way, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And wait, hold up. I'm close to 500 people. Come on, let's reach those 500 subscribers. I am so close and yet so far. Let's reach those 500, you guys. I am so blessed to have the currently um, 493 of you subscribe to my channel. You guys are giving me much love. You guys are commenting on my videos. That's what I want. I want you guys to comment on my videos. Let me know what you guys want next. Hopefully the next video that I will be doing is my makeup collection. I already had you know, a couple of people subscribe that. By a lot of people, I mean my best friend. <laughs> yeah, just subscribe and comment and like in my videos. You know, comment what you guys want me to do. You know, there's just so much that I can run on ideas. But I want you guys, you know, just let me know what you guys want to see. Because I want to please you guys. You guys are the ones watching the videos. And, you know, you are the ones that have to let me know if you are liking the content and whatnot. Alrighty, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. What is up? Today is December 10th. And I just thought that I'd do a little, you know, chit-chat, get ready with me, first impression haul. That is a mouthful um, because, no surprise, I recently went to Sephora and I picked up some new stuff. I picked up four items at Sephora and I got these at a really good bargain, you know. And I'm just happy to, you know, experiment with new things. And as you guys know, I really love the Urban Decay Company and I picked up their Naked um, Smoky Palette. I got this bad boy for $27 online at Sephora. And this flew, you know, it was like gone instantly online. Um, luckily, I was at Sephora.com when this launched. Not launched, but when they decided to put it on sale. And I was, I honestly just put in the order super quick, and that was that. And I also got this bad boy. I think this one retails for $55, and, it's, and I got it at $27. And then this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is the anti-aging one. And I got this for $10. I don't know the original price. And this is a full-size item as well. This is the 37 fluid ounce one. I got those two items at a really good bargain. I got this Tarte um, eyelash curler because as you guys know, mine was like so old that it was pulling out my eyelashes. And it brought a little mascara as well, the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. So I thought I'd try it. This one was $24. And I was like, why not? And I just picked up the Too Faced Sweetheart blush. And this one is in the color Candy Glow. So, um, with that being said, I think off camera I am just going to do my brows really quick. Because you guys just know my eyebrow routine. I've done a couple of videos on that. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am back. I did my eyebrow off camera like I said I was going to do. And then I just applied a little bit of my Neutrogena Moisture smooth color stick and this is a really really opaque color it's like a really hot pink color and it's really moisturizing so I think now I'm just gonna move on to eyes and of course I'm gonna be trying out the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer this was a really good purchase you guys like I said this only cost me ten dollars fun fact about me if you guys do not know I really love like accents like I really love like different accents I'm gonna apply it on my finger
Oh, and it's very, very smooth. It almost has that texture if you guys have ever tried the Benefit Professional. I always also just make sure to like apply my primer on my lashes. I don't know, I just feel like they come out looking better. So I applied a little bit of that, and now I am going to move on to my Naked Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. And I know I've been doing a lot of smoky looks recently on my channel, but I mean, why not some more? Am I right? Am I right? So this palette is super pretty. It's like plastic outside, but it has like this marble like holographic effect to it. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has some shimmery shades. It has a total of eight shimmer eyeshadows in it and the extra four are just matte. Can you guys see? Or is it like orangey? I look kind of orange on camera. Why is that? I'm not orange in person. So like I said, I'm just gonna be picking up an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna be picking up the color 13. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say my under, my under brow, or I should say my brow bone. So now I'm just gonna be grabbing a, um, a pretty big fluff, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna pick up the color. It's called Combust. That's <laughs> how you say it. It's this one right here. And it's like a pale pinkish color. I'm gonna put this on my crease just for a slight and light transition color. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that I am appearing orange. In the camera lens I just don't understand why so then I think I'm just gonna pick up this one called whiskey and it's just like a brown color and I'm also gonna be applying that on the crease area holy moly this is super dark holy crap I didn't expect it to be that dark Now what I am going to do, I'm going to leave that like that for now. I am going to be grabbing a flat dome brush, which is something that looks like this. And I am going to go in again with that color called Combust. And I think I'm going to mix it a little bit with the number 13. And I'm going to apply this on my lid. Again, leaving that like that for now. I think I'm just gonna grab the brush that the palette brings. You know, it has two ends and I'm gonna be grabbing this one. I'm gonna go in with the color called Smolder, which is just like a dark purple color. And it does have a shimmer to it. And I'm placing this between the lid color and my crease color. I'm just sort of just like winging this out ever so slightly out in the edge right here just bringing this out and doing sort of this motion on the outer edge of my eye with a very light hand and you want to make sure that you really just blend this so I think that's it for eyes I don't think I'm gonna do anything else my inspiration levels aren't very high today. I'll probably just do something on the lower lid. I'm gonna be grabbing some eyeliner now. Just some black eyeliner like this with a very thin point so I can be more precise with it. I'm just gonna be doing a normal wing. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it pretty thick today. Haven't done a thick wing in a while. All right, that's the best that I could do. And now, the real struggle. I'm trying to get the same wing on the other eye. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. So, 
this is how the wing turned out. I, I, I like it, you know, but I just don't like that it's, you know, like in the light sort of like shimmers. This brush is a concealer brush by e.l.f. I'm gonna be using this and I'm going to be grabbing my Shapeless Light by Kat Von D and I'm going to be just grabbing the matte black. You can grab any black matte that you have. I think that's pretty much done for eyes right now. Oh, I forgot my lashes. So I am going to be trying my new Tarte eyelash curler. So let's see how this bad boy works. And then I'm just gonna be applying the mascara that I brought. And I'm gonna be trying out these lashes that I got um, from Wet n Wild. I got them at my drugstore. They were 99 cents and they're not too bad looking. I'm gonna apply them with my dual lash glue. So yeah, I have the lashes right here and just waiting for them to get tacky. Now for the other lash, look at the difference. Oh, I love fake lashes. I don't know what my life was like without fake lashes. Like, what was I doing? Like, how did I function correctly? No, but honestly, like, false lashes make your eye look look so much like, I don't know, like sexier in my opinion. So now I'm just gonna be applying some of my favorite black mascara on my lower lashes, or I should say on my lower waterline. These lashes aren't bad, but the lash band is just like so thin that it can hardly hold up any glue. And then you see like, these are fucking coming off like, fuck this shit guy. Ah, such a, such a mess. Oh, I was, <laughs> I left the camera on, shit. My lashes are coming off, but you know what, at this point I'm just like, Whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this lip balm that I have. I have done a separate video all about my foundation, baking, and contouring my face routine that will be down in the description and in the annotation above. I'm gonna be using my Estee Lauder moisturizer. Since I have long nails, this is such a struggle trying to get like your lotion or whatever you're using without it getting like under your nails. Boy, where am I acting ghetto? Why? I'm going to be priming with my Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer and I just apply this on my T-zone. So after shaking this up really well, I'm going to go in with my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm in the color medium 2 Santa Fe. This is a super high coverage foundation. If you are really looking for a foundation that is not going to oxidize during the day and it's just going to stay matte and, you know, full coverage throughout the entire time that you're going to be wearing foundation, this is the foundation for you. This is a super, super nice foundation. So I'm actually going to be reapplying this like right here, a little bit more on my cheeks. because That's where I've been breaking out a lot. I am also going to be using my Maybelline Concealer. This is the Insta Age Rewind. I've heard so many YouTube gurus just like ranting about this and I've heard I've seen like Nikki tutorials using it and I thought it was gonna be you know time that I jumped on the Maybelline concealer bandwagon because you guys know that my holy grail concealer is this Maybelline one the fit me I you know my whole life I've been using the fit me one I just really love it I'm that type of chick that really loves like a bright under eye I love just highlighting like the high points of my face I do it down the bridge of my nose on my chin and on my forehead. I have bought so many high-end makeup and just so many drugstore makeup recently. I've been like on this rave of like makeup buying, which it has to stop. Like, <laughs> I use the excuse like, oh, this is what I'm buying myself for like Christmas. This is like my own gift to myself. And like, now I'm just like, all right, you need to stop buying yourself gifts because you already have too much. I don't know how I'm feeling about this concealer i think <laughs> i'm gonna go a little bit in with my maybelline just the fit me one i'm applying a little bit under my eyes and i also recently bought the covergirl translucent powder 
This one is in the number 105. So I got a shit ton, and this smells like really nice. It smells like roses. So I'm just gonna be applying the loose uh, powder everywhere that I apply concealer on, and I'm just gonna bake the hell out of my face. I think I'm just gonna finish um, just the lower part of my eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with my naked. I think I'm going to be grabbing um, this color, Smolder, the same one that I put on my um, crease. And I'm going to be applying this with um, this angled brush right here. So I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous um, Extreme. I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush that is that yes, it is used. And from my um, Kat Von D Shapeless Light Palette, I'm gonna be grabbing the white shade and I'm gonna be applying this right here. And a little bit right here. Alright, so I think I'm pretty much done baking. I'm gonna be grabbing this small fluff brush and just removing all of it. Alrighty, so I'm moving on to face now and with my Shapeless Light from Kat Von D, the uh, face palette, I'm going to be grabbing this inner shade right here called Shadow Play and I am going to be applying this with my dirty ass um, brush. And I'm just going to bronze up a little bit. You want to make sure to blend, blend, blend. So now I'm actually going to go with my Bare Minerals. This is a pretty large brush. And I'm just going to grab this color, which is the lightest one in the palette. It's called Levitation. I'm just going to be, you know, doing this to the brush. You know, I'm flattening it out, almost like a fan brush. And I'm, I'm going to be going over this and just applying this right there just to give myself an extra highlight. And then just with the brush, I'm just going to be tapping that area. So I'm going to go in now with my Too Faced blush and oh my god you know the packaging on this is like really what sold me to it it's so it's so cute look it's so cute and it's so gorgeous as well so i'm just gonna be applying this with a blush blush i'm gonna be combining all of the colors and applying this on my cheeks it definitely has a shimmer to it super super pretty and to highlight i'm gonna be using oh it almost fell <laughs> so to highlight i'm gonna be using my naked flushed this is in the color native and i'm just gonna be highlighting with this shade with the same flush uh fluffy brush that i used in the beginning on the bridge of my nose on the tip of my nose on my cupid's bow i'm gonna go even on my brow bone with this and a little bit just right up here so I am going to do my nude lip. I do this with three lip combos. So first, I'm going to grab this pencil. I think it's, um, it's from the company Jordana. I don't know. It's just like a nude stick. It has a little bit of a brown tint to it. And I'm just going to um, overline my lips a little bit with this. And then I'm going to be going in with the Sephora, this is the Sephora Rouge collection and it is the color Love Life and it's just a nude color, sort of sheer. And then I finish off everything with my Smashbox lip gloss, it has a lot of shimmer to it and it's in the color Jewel. So I am just going to be finishing off the look with a setting spray. This is from, I don't know what company, I got it Sephora, it's like a little sample. I think it's from the company Super Goop, I, I don't know the company. Um, what it says, it is a defense refresh setting mist with rosemary and it also has an SPF of 50. I'm going to shake this up a little bit and then apply this on my face. 